What is up, Internet? As you can see, I am not playing Dead Space 3. This is actually very far from Dead Space 3. It's freaking Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have actually played Dark Souls before. I actually have like 21 videos uploaded that I've that I played like that I that I played, recorded, edited, and uploaded like over a year ago, and then I just kind of stopped playing. Um, but yeah, I, I bought uh, Prepare to Die Edition back when it was on sale on Steam for like 20 bucks. I couldn't say no, and um, yeah, I'm gonna be playing it over again on the PC. If you have seen any of my um, my previous Dark Souls videos, you will know that I was a complete noob at Dark Souls. I didn't know anything, and that's kind of the way I like to play video games. I don't I like to go in completely fresh. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything about the game at all. I found out that it was actually kind of not a good idea for me to start out with the uh, Master Key Lock, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, all of these... Yeah, I actually did mess with these settings a little bit, so all these settings should be good. Motion blur. I don't know if I want this on or off, but I'm going to turn it on. Um, Anti-aliasing anti off. I have... Uh, Originally it was set to on, but I have it uh, turned off because I'm using the, uh, I think it's a DS fix mod. Supposedly it makes the game better. I don't know. I'm just going to leave all this default. I am playing with a 360 controller on the PC, of course. Uh, this is going to take me a long time. I'm going to spend a lot of time uh, <laughs> customizing this character. But just to, I'll just go through... Um, really quickly more or less what I'm gonna do. We're gonna be a girl, we're gonna be a pretty princess. Um, physique, slim physique. Face, uh, I think I wanted the commoner, I think that was my favorite one. Bun hair, exactly like my original um, Dark Souls videos like a year ago. Um, I am going to customize the hell out of this in a second, but I wanna show you this really quick the gift. Uh, originally, no, originally what I did was I started out as a thief because they have, they get a master key for free, but I hate the thief. Like I found out that this little tiny shield that thieves get, it kind of sucks. Like it doesn't really seem to do anything. Or maybe I was just playing it wrong. I don't know, but yeah, I, I had bad experiences with the thief, so I'm not doing that again. Instead, I'm going to be a I think a wanderer. I think that's what I want to do. I don't really want this scimitar. I would rather have a sword, a normal sword. But yeah, I got to have that cloak and that little hood thing. I got to have that. That is that is necessary. That is a requirement. Um my first playthrough I got the tiny beings ring, I think. Kind of crappy. Um, I did some research. Again, I, like I said, I really prefer to play video games going in completely fresh. I don't like doing research on a game beforehand before I play it, but this game is very, very deep, and it can be very confusing. And yeah, so I just did some research on this, and I apparently the pendant is the best thing to get here. I know these are consumable items, Goddess Blessing, uh, Black Firebomb, Two Humanity. These are all consumable. The uh, binoculars are like, I think, an equipment. The pendant supposedly does something. It unlocks some kind of thing later on that's special that, we, that we're supposed to care about. The master key, it uh, opens doors. Um, but what I, what I read was that, like, basically, you don't need the master key for anything. Like, every door that's locked in this game has a key that will unlock it. So you don't need the master key. But if you really want one, you supposedly can buy one from a merchant somewhere in the game. So I'm not really going to... I'd rather have this thing because it seems more important. And also, apparently what I read was that, like, having the master key, like, allowing... Like, being able to, like, kind of wander into places that you shouldn't be able to get to can kind of confuse new players. And I think that was, like, a really big part of you know, why I got so owned my first fucking playthrough, like, I basically unlocked everywhere, I was wandering in, like, all kinds of, like, crazy, like, high-level places, uh, <laughs> the Capra Demon, fuck the Capra Demon, I'm never going back there again, no, I will, but, yeah, 
So, yeah, I'm just going to start off with a pendant, and um, I'm going to customize the shit out of this, and this is going to take a while, so I'm not going to record it. Hang on one sec, and by one sec, I mean like 20 minutes. Really quick, I just want to show you, whenever a game gives me this, I fucking just lose my mind in this. Like, I, I, I have spent... When I played Oblivion for the first time, I spent like an hour. Same with Fallout 3. And you know what's sad? Is that like, you don't even really see the character's face like a whole lot. Like, I'm probably gonna be wearing some kind of like helmet or a mask even, maybe. I don't even know, but yeah. Alright guys, I am done making my character customizing the hell out of my face I actually only took 10 minutes doing this and it's really not all that different from like the normal commoner face but yeah this is what I look like in real life that's me no I'm kidding I'm not nearly this ugly anyway um this is all done just need to give this chick a name wolf wolf Wolfelia. <laughs> yes, we're Wolfelia. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good with all this. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of... I'm hesitant because I got this scimitar, and I don't want to have a scimitar, but... God, that armor. You know what? I'm just going to press the A button. Wait, what am I even... Accept. Okay, to start game with this character, yeah! Yeah, game. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark souls. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Wind's mighty gods ruled upon their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are 
lonely embers. A man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Okay, so fire changed stuff, and now the fire's going away, and that's bad. Yes, indeed. Really? The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land... The undead are corralled and led to the north. North. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. That's kind of mean. They didn't do anything, they just died. This is your fate. Rack got fucked up. There's a cat in here somewhere. I have red hair. <laughs> Who's that guy? It's a dude. It's another dude. This one's dead. Okay, so now we're playing the game and check out my freaking armor. I am one sexy bastard. Dude. Okay, anyway, um, before I actually start playing this game, I want to do something, and that something is to check the audio levels really quick, because just like in Dead Space 3, the audio levels might be too high right now. I turned everything way low except for um, NPC voices, and I I want to keep that kind of high, but I don't want to keep it like too super high. So I'm gonna check that out really quick. Hang on one sec. Okay, I am back, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this down just a smidge. That should be good. That should be fine. Uh, yeah. I'm good with this. Okay. Let's friggin' start this thing. Dungeon cell key. I think I said this in my, like, my first recording of this, but I think it's just very strange that this dead body that was dumped in here... First of all, why would you dump a dead body into a cell? You know, it's already dead. It's not going anywhere. And why would you... Like, really, where was this... I'm, I'm like, totally nitpicking here, but where is this dead body gonna hide a cell key as you can see not a lot of clothing on this guy anyway okay so yeah right stick right camera got it got it game right bumper is attack this is the one thing I don't really like about this um, I'm I, once again, I am playing it on the PC, and um, I would prefer, like, the right bumper is the normal attack, and the right trigger is the heavy attack, and I would prefer that, that to be switched, because I don't really, I prefer mashing the trigger more than I like mashing the bumper. I don't know, it's just more comfortable for me. Yeah, once again, strong attack, right trigger. Let's kill this dude. No loitering allowed, man against the rules here in the jail. I right, hold B, left stick. All right, we can run. Double tapping B rolls and uh right stick. <laughs> I 
I have done some research on this game, just, just a little bit, just to see where the hell I went wrong, more or less, but I am still genuinely worried about the fact, or the possibility that I might be, like, completely screwed again. Like, this is a very difficult game, and, you know, as you, as you may know, I, I am not opposed to difficult games, but, yeah... I am determined to finish this, though. I, I really want to finish this. I this is I bought the game twice, essentially. I spent I spent eighty dollars on this game. I bought it new when it just came out, sixty dollars, and then another twenty freaking boom. From Software is fucking robbing me blind. Because I've played this before, I know. Get away! As you can see, this door over here opened. What we're supposed to do is uh, run away from this guy. We're not actually supposed to fight him. So I'm just going to taunt him a little bit and then hide. Fool! Yeah, so he's just going to run away. When I was doing some tests, like, uh, some test recordings just to, like, test out the audio levels and stuff, I actually did fight uh, that boss. I got an achievement. I pressed the A button on a thing. But yeah, like, when I was fighting this for the first time again, you know, for the first time in like a year and a half or however long it's been, I actually did forget about that this door opening here, so I actually did die like once. But yeah. Get your shields. Where's my shield? Oh, this is probably my... Holy, hey, 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 game. Got a leather shield. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> I got an arrow in my arm and a leather shield. Awesome. Okay. Uh, change equipment. Left. Okay. Now I can... What? Ah, you see? Left trigger does this. I mean, yeah, left trigger does this. Left bumper does this. So I need to... Uh, need to get really intimate and familiar with these bumpers, I, I guess. Took a little bit of endurance out of me. Fucking arrows. Okay. Uh, scimitar, yes! A weapon that doesn't suck quite as much as this thing. You know, scimitar is probably a good weapon. It's just that I don't really want to use it. What I really want to do with this character is... um. Originally, I really wanted to stick with the whole thief build. I wanted to use daggers, and that was cool. But now, what I want to do is um, utilize my strength as much as possible um, with some kind of large-ish weapon, not, not like a great sword or anything like that, not, nothing too huge. Uh, where am I? Oh. But yeah, I want to use uh, pyromancy a lot. God, holy crap. Hang on, I gotta... This, this isn't... This is unsatisfactory here. Brightness up. Okay. You know, I get that, you know, you're not really supposed to see a whole lot in dark, but I, I want to know where the hell I'm going. You know, I don't want to be wandering around aimlessly in the dark. Try not to cheat, but, you know. Also, it helps, you know, you guys watching this on YouTube. It kind of helps if you can see the game. So yeah, that's my justification for that. Uh, oh, I remember this. Okay. There's stairs here. I think I got hit. I'm pretty sure I got hit by that the first time I played this. But yeah, there's a dude here. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yeah, I'll... Really? I can say no to this? Why would I do that? I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, 
The fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Hmm. So he's dying. Couldn't he have just used this on himself? There's a bonfire down there. If he runs out, he can just... Oh, and this. Dead asylum. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. You're going to harm me, are you? I'm not going to attack you. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. Alright, I'm and going. Thank you. Calm down. Uh, use item. Don't need to use item, dog. Okay, so... Something just died. I think. Yeah, something... Oh, the dude died! No! We were friends! Ah. Okay, so he's gone. Anywho. Um, 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 I'm gonna save over here really quick. Actually, wait. How does saving work in this game, come to think of it? Uh, okay, I think that fire, the little fire icon in the top right corner, I think that was like the auto save icon. I think. I hope that's what that is. Oh shit, I forgot. Oh, it hit. Oh yeah. That's because this shield sucks. You take damage still. Okay, um. I'm gonna kill some more guys and then I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at something. Right weapon two handed. Left stick plus right bumper. Okay. Whoa! What the fuck was that? That was left stick plus right bumper. That was Didn't it just say that, that should have been a kick? It's not a kick, sir. Let me see. Let me read this again. Left stick and right bumper is kick. That's not a kick. That's a cartwheel. That was my jump attack. Uh, resting at bonfire. Rev resting at bonfire revives enemies. Okay. I know that. This is not news to me. Ugh. Oh, that was odd. What what is this stance I'm in here? Okay, I can def oh I can defend while I'm two-handed. Okay, that's cool. It's good to know. As you can see, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I'm sorry for being a noob. Also, when I originally played this game, I didn't even get that far. Behind an enemy critical attack, right bumper. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, dang, they're going to throw a skeleton dude at me right away? It's hardcore, man. Oh, what? I pressed right bumper. There we go. It's locked. Okay. Uh, left trigger... Left trigger repelling. Okay, that's... Okay. After parrying, and then that. Okay. You know, it is really cool that they give you all of these uh, little tutorial things, but this really is a lot of information to throw at the player, like, all at the same time. And I think, honestly, like, that was kind of an issue I had with this game. Like, it took me a long time. Even though it says it right here, I was still trying to figure out, like, freaking rolling and, or, I mean, like, the jumping, the jump attack and the kick and then the parry and all that. And then they give me this and I, yeah. It was just, it was a lot to keep track of. Okay, so I can do this. And that does a shitload of damage, so, yeah. Let's do that. OK. 
Okay, that, that missed. That was that was a fail. Whoa, what? Frame rate drop. Oh shit. Uh, what is it? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's just kind of weird. I'm totally not used to... Whoa. Hey, I dodged that shit. Oh, I didn't dodge that shit, though. Not that one. Dodge that one. Yeah, buddy. Get out of there. I'm really not used to, like, using um, the right bumper and the right trigger to attack. I'm not trying to make excuses for myself, but, like, my... Uh, this is just something I just totally need to get used to. This is... I mean, I can't think of any other game that does this. Humanity. Cool. Um, where am I going now? Here, I'm going here. Big Pilgrim's Key. By the way, one thing I one thing I totally learned that I totally didn't know the first time I attempted to play this game was that you get an invincibility frames when you roll. I, that's what I heard. Like, is that really a, a thing? Like, when I'm doing this, I'm invincible for like a few frames or something. If that's true, like you could you could like roll through attacks and not get damage. Is that what you're supposed to do? Because if that's what you you. You give me warm, give me soft. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, anyway, like, you, by the way, what the hell are you supposed to do here? Like, can you come back here later and do whatever this thing wants you to do? Warm, you know, I'm gonna try to use an Estus flask just, just for the hell of it. That's all I have really at this point. I have an Estus flask, so here you go. Never mind, I'm just gonna drink it right in front of you. Fuck you, little eggs. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I totally didn't know that you could roll through attacks. Like, is that... Can you actually do that? Because if you can, that's crazy. Like... Uh, I was also told that you could also do that in, in uh, Demon Souls. And I, I it's been so many years since I played that game. I, I honestly don't even remember, but... Yeah, I wish I had known that the first time I tried playing this game. Okay, so we're supposed to go up here and then, and then, and then. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Attacked by this giant bird. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran Lordran okay so I guess that's where we're going is that like the name of like this whole giant area this whole like continent or country or whatever it is 